What's up guys, um, in this video I'm going to show you how you might um, unroot and relock your device um, if you had encountered problems in um, rooting your device and um, it's you know it's it's not it's not just it's turn it's not turning on properly you might want to think about unrooting it um, so let's dive right into it I should say that um, if you you need to do two things um, before you can proceed to this video the first is that you need to have um, well actually you only need to do one thing you need to have the Android SDK installed the Android SDK and I'll post a link to that um, in the description below um, a link to my video describing how you can install Android SDK so if you've not already done that um, go look at that video um, first before coming back to this video so once you have Android SDK installed what you want to do is you want to head over to the XDA website link in the description um, in this post where you can find a Nexus 7 toolkit so um, this this should work for um, any Android device right um, but this is, I'm just using Nexus 7 as an example here so you can what you want to do is you want to head down here to restore and root Nexus 7 to stock 4.1 go ahead and click on that that will bring up a page where you can download as you can see right here where you can download the um, the, the zip so once you have that downloaded which I've already done you can see it on the desktop right here go ahead and double click and it should bring up the folder stock and root to 4.1 and as you can see on my desktop, I also have the Android SDK um, folder, uh, which you should have if you followed the instructions in the video to install the Android SDK. So go ahead and open up the Android SDK and open up um, the stock and root folder. And on the Android SDK folder, what you want to do is you want to switch to platform tools so go right in platform tools and copy the three files that you see in the stock on root um, or move them over into the platform tools folder now it's important that you're in the platform tools folder and not in a different folder all right once you've done that um, you can just go ahead and close that out double click on this icon here called click me that will bring up the terminal and you can see my terminal here so first thing so from here on it's basically just following the um, instructions given on um, the terminal so right here as you can see I have a um, I have an, a rooted Nexus 7 device so I want to go into settings scroll down to developer options and make sure that you have USB debugging checked so if it's not checked make sure that it's checked press OK um, just ignore that for now and when that's done go ahead and press enter or yeah, press enter to continue and what we'll do is we'll boot you into recovery and um, if you look closely you can see um, the lock state down here it says unlocked so booting the bootloader and just let it do its thing Okay, and it will now say that your device is stock and unrooted um, but bootloader is still unlocked so the next step is we need to unlock um, we, we need to lock the bootloader to, to restore it to its uh, original state so we now need to start it up again so do that by pressing the power button on the side 
of the device and wait for it to boot into um, into the operating system so I'll bring up um, Android file transfer again but once I'm here go into the operating system and just once again ensure that you have USB debugging switched on which I have and now I press enter it should now lock the bootloader as you can see the lock state still says um, well switch to lock now so you can see the lock state switch to lock so that's it you're done right so you are now unrooted and you've relocked your bootloader so you can send it back for warranty without any worries um, of having voided the warranty or you can retry your uh, root um, procedures if you fail the first time around um, don't forget to subscribe and like if this was helpful thanks for watching